Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I got. I got some pucker pies. All steak. Tasty, crisp and filling in only four minutes. It's a microwavable pucker pie. Look at that short crust pastry in the serving suggestion. Ooh, I don't know about all this like. What's going on here? So I, I have done a review of a pucker pie. I've done a few reviews of pucker pies. Um, and I've only done one review of a microwavable one. And it was, a, I think it was a minced beef and onion. I did it when I first started this whole YouTube um, reviewing um, malarkey. And it was very good, what I remember of it. Uh, so let's have a look at the box. Here they are, look, did I mention the price? The three quid, so a pound fifty a pie. Uh, we've had a look at the front, haven't we? I'm all a bit discombobulated. I've had an haircut, you see, so I'm not thinking straight. There they are. Um, uh, well, let's, let, right, here we go. Let's 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 get a get a grip, Morgan. Here we go. Old steak, tender pieces of steak, and a rich gravy in a baked short crust pastry case. Um, there is some nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that. I noticed a six hundred and twenty nine calories in a pie. Book of ingredients. Um, you've got some allergens in there: wheat flour, barley, milk. Wheat protein, beef 26% in there, I notice. Um, what else have we got here? Let's, there's a ways to cook her on the, this end of the box. Heating instructions, microwave. These are absolutely spot on these. If you're in a rush, aren't you? Four minutes for a pie. You know, they're looking about 40 minutes in the oven. There it is, look. And there's different wattages, so it depends on your wattage. You choose your time. You can alternatively do it in the oven. Um, it's 50 minutes in the oven, and that's without preheating. So it's up to you, lovely people out there, whichever you choose. Little GB sticker there. Um, it's Leicester, isn't it? Produced in the UK by Pucker Pies, Leicester. Right, let's get this open and see what we've got. So when I did my review of that pucker pie, that was my first ever pucker pie, and that was only not last year before. I've never had one up until then. They're always Hollands round here, around our area. There it is, look. And if it's anything like that minced beef and onion, it's going to be good, because that was really good done in the microwave. No soggy bottom, if I remember rightly. I will put a link in the description for that video if you want to watch it. Wee. So I'm doing them for four minutes because mine's an 800 watt. It does tell you the times depending on your wattage of microwave. And it also, let me just shut this cupboard door. And it also says you can put microwave two pies as well. And the times are uh, according, you know, for two pies, depending on your wattage, of course. So if you like this, uh, if you like the video, oh, and I remember, You've got to keep them in the container as well. It's not foil, I think it's cardboard. You've got to leave them in the container that they keep, they come in. And leave it to stand for one minute because there may be hot spots. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing if you haven't. And let me know what your favorite pie is. And I know the best pies are from your local pie shop. We've got a cracking pie shop in Dalton, where I live. They are really good. I've reviewed their pies. Wow, they were so good. I got a special, and then I got um, a meat potato. They were just, they were in another league. They are, they're in another league, they are, but pucker pies are pretty good. They're pretty good. Well, the, the ones I've had have been good. I, I, I don't think I've had a bad pie. Anyway... What a pipe of lava this is. I'm going on here, so I'll bring you back in about two and two minutes and 18 seconds. So here it is, it's been, it's done. It's had its four minutes in the, in the microwave. And look at that. I mean, it's still a bit hot. It, we'll see what it's like. I'll open it up because it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that hot to me. And it, I've had it, I've given it a minute. There's the bottom, look, no soggy bottom. Uh, these have been designed to go in the microwave. Um, you, you must put them in that as well, look. That that carton, that's what it comes in. 
Right, so I'm going to I'm going to get it open now because if there's any cold spots, it's going back in again. Right, I've got a knife. I'm just going to chop it in half and open it up. It's going to. There it is. Look, I'll show you it. It is full. Look, I'll be honest. It's full to the top. Look at that. It's brimming. No little air gap, neither. Ooh, it is hot there. That, that side seems hotter than that, so I'm just going to feel it now. Yeah, I've, I've had the probe in and it's, it's up to temperature, but it's absolutely piping hot, so I'm just going to tell you a little story, if you don't mind. Um, the job I had in the shipyard, just before the old dreaded what happened in 2020, on a Friday, Friday was pie day. We used to always get pies on a Friday. And um, the girl who was our cleaner, Emma, at the time, she used to get in the van um, with the driver and go and collect the pies. And we were dead lucky because our our bosses used to pay as well. More often than not, they'd pay on a, on a Friday when they were feeling a bit generous. And I'm talking like 35, 40 pies, probably 50 pies. So they used to come in a big crate and we used to give the order to Emma. And I felt so sorry for half the time because it we used to call it pie day. Friday pie day, but it was a pie palaver. Because every time, every Friday, not every time, but more often than not, and it wasn't probably her fault, it was probably the people who packed the pies. They were it was always wrong. <laughs> I felt so sorry for her, I really did. And Emma, um You did a great job. I, you know, you really did a good job getting them pies because you know fair play to you, fair play to you. Um, it was it was it's a pie palaver. That's that's where that's where that came up earlier. Anyway, let's get back in the room because I'm I'm definitely digressing here. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's have a look at the pie. I got a, I got a message off Emma the other day actually. Um, I was having a crack with her, so I'm going to open it up and show you lovely people what you get. That's I mean. Oh, look at that. There's your, yeah, I'll open it all up because I want to cool it down. I'm going to get into it, don't worry. It's going down the hatch, this one. It's not getting... Have a look, see what you think. It's still absolutely red hot. You can still st see the steam coming off it. Let me just put that there. I've got to open it up. I've got to show you lovely people because you, you've got to see what you're getting, haven't you? Yeah, there's, the, there's your, your steak, look. There's your, your bits of steak. You can see it, can't you? There, there's another bit there. It's quite light on the camera, actually. It's darker than that in reality. Um, it's like the camera, they say it puts about £20 on you, doesn't it? That's why I probably look fat. <laughs> Keep blaming the camera. There's your meat anyway, 26%. See what this is all about. Look at that steam coming off there now still. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is good. I can feel the art burn coming on later. I'll have to get the old um, tablets out. Look at that. The pastry is tasty. The gravy is tasty. The meat's nice and tender. It's well seasoned. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. I can't stop eating it. The pastry is good as well, it's not soggy. Look at that. I know you probably can't, but it's not soggy. It's, there's no sogginess there. For a microwavable pie, normally they just all go floppy, don't they? And, and, and they're no good. Well, they are. You can still eat them, of course, but then you want bite to your pastry, don't you? Your short crust, short crust pastry as well. Nice if it was 50% meat like, but you know, you know, you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> One pound fifty a pie. Mm. I like it. I like it, I do. I went to my local the pie shop that we used to get them from in Barry, I went there the other week, a few weeks ago actually, 
I got some pies for my mum, took up my mum and dad's. So when I took my car for an MOT, I took my, took my car off in Barra for an MOT, and then I walked to the pie shop, got some pies, and went to my mum's. And we sat down and had them. I tell you what, they're not as good as, I'm not going to name the shop, but they're not as good as they used to be years ago. Years and years ago, they were really, really tasty, and unfortunately, they've gone downhill. They've gone downhill. Now, I don't know if they've changed hands, but they've, they've just, they weren't the pies they used to be. Anyway, that's another story. So, yeah, that's a cracking pie, and a, a, a real good one, like, I buy that again, definitely. It's probably a 9 out of 10. Um, so, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Thanks um, if, if you join the membership as well. Absolutely fantastic. All the best. I'll catch you on the next one.